and I did a few more drawings of cats. I like this one where the shoulders are down a bit here and the feet sort of come together. Uh, this is a little bit distorted but it gives it a nice uh, look uh, where you make the edges go out wider and the feet smaller. This one's got an attitude, he's just standing there. But his head's turned. They're all using the five. See the one, two, three, four, five. And then the ears are added onto it like that. So you can change the angle of the five. Here's the five here. One, two, three, four, five. So the first thing I put in for this one was this curved line here. And I basically just went like that. So you could practice a few of these curves. And that's the backbone and the cat's turning around. So after this curve, then I put in this curve here. It kind of looks like a crescent moon. Now this is where the head's going to be, right about there, see? Where the curve ends. So we can put a little curve in like that. And then there's a curve here for a leg. And you basically continue this one and add a tail in, point it around. And there's your basic shape. So if you practice that a few times, you see, you'll get even turn that into maybe the tail. See, so you, you get good at this shape. And once you've got that shape in, then we just come up with another line up like that. And then you can put in your one, two, three, four, five. Put the ears in. And you got a real nice little picture of a cat turning around and bending around. You put a little paw over here, maybe see what maybe they've got a gonna lick his paw next. So this little shape here, uh, great one to draw, just like that. Come down there, follow with a line here, and this line. You'll have to practice it a few times. But basically, we've got uh, the first line is one, then this one, two, and then this one, three, and if you want, you can extend these two here for four. Then add the face, one, two, three, four, five ears, and the little line here for the chest. Love this little drawing. This one here, the same thing. We have a, a line this way, nice little line, and a curve. It almost looks like a, a bean. You think of the shape of a bean. You'll get this looking about right. So the bean shape, then we have a leg here and a leg here. I don't even put in the other part of the leg and maybe a little, little rounder. It's more of a Siamese type cat, bigger ears. So neat. These cats are great. All you have to do is go online, look up cats, I don't know, Pinterest, whatever, wherever you're going to find them. And the long tail. And put some spots. And of course, this is our basic one. Back one's a little bigger. The one, two, three, four, five. And I've made the ears a little more 3D by adding tops to them. So all these cats come from that first cat that we practiced. The little boots there, see? And this one's in behind, underneath, and this one curves. And his little paw is showing here because he's walking. You do the same thing on the back and add a tail. Whoa, look at that tail. Alley cat. So cats, 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 once again, have some fun drawing them. And I'm going to do a quick Brushes, painting of I've one right now. Water. I've got all my cats here. I don't want to redraw these cats. So I'm going to show you the quick way again. Every, a lot of you know how to do this. Uh, all you have to do is take one of your pictures here and darken the back with a pencil like this. I'm using a 6B pencil because it will transfer really quickly. I have a big sheet of 90-pound uh, watercolor paper, just an inexpensive watercolor paper you can buy anywhere. All my cats here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be transferring lots of cats to my cat paper. Do the whole cat. 
So I'm on to this little cute little face here. I'm gonna put that one in next. I think I'll put this big one right on top here. This one, got his, gonna be behind this one. But I'm just gonna free draw it. Uh, just to show you, it's okay to draw over things. And there's his head. One, two, three, four, five. Now notice this is probably the 50 or 60 cats I've drawn and it gets easier the more you do it. So the more you draw these little guys, the better you're going to be at it. So there's his head, there's his body, there's the foot there. I'm gonna add a little paw there, little paw there. And he's got attitude, this little guy. Now you can't see the other leg behind there, but that's okay. We're just gonna put in two legs and a tail coming up like that. And there he is in behind all the other ones. There's the 3D part. Bring the ear into the body and just add, see, a top to the ear. Add a little bit of a, some little whiskers there. And there's his face. And now I'm just gonna throw some, put a line through the middle and throw some paint on this. Put some mountains maybe behind here. It create a little scene. Maybe they're down by the beach. This guy's been buried in the sand.
tape off 